Hi guys and welcome to the vlog. This is gonna be another techie day with Keith and Eric. Tech day. Tech day. <laughs> now don't worry, we still do the travel vlogs. We still got the Disney vlog coming and going. We're doing a little bit of a different show for you. Right. We got two that we got the travel show and we're working on the tech stuff now. So this is gonna be part two of Epic Computer Build. Epic Computer Build, I'll link the other one up here if you wanna see the components and stuff like that. We're not gonna to go too in depth in the components. This one's just gonna be us building the computer. Well, let's roll the intro and get this thing going. I agree. All right, guys, so we're building our computer. We have all the components. We went ahead and pre-gamed some stuff. We got some cables plugged in and some screws screwed in, so it's not gonna take as long. But it's still gonna be a little bit of time here, but we're, we're not gonna show you all that. We'll time lapse some of that. Right. But anyway, where we uh, have to start is with the case and the motherboard. So that's what we're gonna get into right now. Yep, so first thing we need to do is get this uh, case torn apart so we can start building it. So the good thing about this case is it's only got two thumb screws on the back and uh, you just unscrew the thumb screws, pull the back off, and then everything else just lifts out. The front should lift straight off. Okay, and then so also um, we have a dust filter on the top, magnetic dust filter that we'll go ahead and take that off. And then the other tempered glass side comes off exactly the same, just lift up and then I feel like he had a wide over here and he will put it in the box for us. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go ahead and keep prepping this thing. Hey guys, okay, so I have the motherboard out of the box. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the case now. Uh, just want a quick tutorial here. If you never uh, put a processor or memory in a motherboard before, uh, there is a little triangle here on the motherboard that matches up with the processor, and I'll show you when we get the processor out. You need to line that up to socket the chip into the processor. And also this one has some screen printing on here that says that this one and this one, the first one and the third slot are your main two, if you're only gonna use two sticks of RAM. If you're, you know, populate all four, it doesn't matter, just stick them in all four, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna populate all four. The only other thing that I wanna say on this is it has two M.2 slots, the solid state drive that we're talking about. There's one up here and one down here. Uh, the one down here is first slot, so what meaning that this one has direct PCIe lanes to the, the processor, so you get all four by uh, lanes. If you use this one, you're gonna be sharing PCIe lanes with the video card. So you wanna make sure that you look at your motherboard's manual and verify where to put your M.2 for the best speed. Other than that, let's get this thing in there. Showing you how to install the uh, motherboard here. I already started one screw. Definitely start on opposing corners. You don't want to be on the same corner. You need a nice magnetic screwdriver too. Is it good? And the, this would be zero force. There's no force required to tighten these down. So you just want to go through. I think there's what? One, two, there's like should be nine screws here um, to put this in. So just start out with your outside corners. Definitely want to be careful of ESD, touch, touch the rail, something before you actually touch your motherboard. Otherwise, you could shock and kill your motherboard. But uh, once you get the outside heat in, you can go ahead and tighten those down and then just finish putting the screws in. Okay guys, so here is your processor. It's a little bit hard to see, so we'll get a little close up on this. And you see the little gold triangle should be right there on the bottom of the processor. I do see that. You wanna match that up. There's a little, you, it's hard to see because it's black, but there's a black triangle right here. What you do is you just pull this up, set the processor in. You don't wanna force it, you just set it in. Then you just push this down, it clips back in, and you've just installed your CPU into your computer. Where are we going next? Uh, so next, we'll just put the RAM in. Okay, that, that's another, not too bad one. No. So the RAM, they're eight gig modules, so it's 32 gigs total. And these, again, it doesn't matter where you uh, stick them in there. They are slotted, the RAM is slotted, so you'll see a slot in, in the bottom here, on there. Yeah. And that lines up in, in here on this little silver line. They yeah. made it really easy in this case to work, where you can see that real easy. Some of them are black, and you can't really see that, so you just line it up. So all we have to do for this is pull these back on this side. These are just set like that. This one, it is gonna take a little bit of force to push it down and clip in, but you'll see the 
the clip come down, once it comes up, you're installed rail. And you, and you also hear the clicking sound. Yeah, you hear an audible click to know that it is actually in there. So just all four of them go the same way. Just whatever way you start, can you just keep going that way? Don't get fancy with it and go like this one, that one, this one, that one. You'll, it'll be more difficult to end. Just right. like Eric's doing it, just keep going in the line like that. Make sure you're uh, all lined up and push it on in there. That's all there is to that. All right. RAM is installed. RAM is installed. That might have been almost as fast as the processor. I mean, you know, maybe a couple <laughs> seconds longer, but yeah. Yeah. So, the next thing we need to do to, for ease of use, I think we'll probably do the M.2 drive. Okay. And then we will move on to our AIO for the processor because we need to get that installed and the uh, the big cables routed. And then we can start plugging other things, like start plugging actual power into the port. Okay, well, let's do that. Okay. Okay, guys. So Keith is holding our storage, our boot drive, our NVMe SSD. Look at this, it's the size of a stick of gum. So anyway guys, you put this in the M.2.1 slot on the motherboard right here. You see it's got a slot right here. And just kind of, same thing as the RAM, little insertion on this one. This one, I'm getting in, it kind of sits up at an angle like that. So you just kind of put the little pre uh, screw cover with your motherboard. It doesn't come with the MBUB drive. So there you go. We just installed our boot drive. Well, that was super easy too. I mean, this thing is flying together here. Uh, yep, I think probably the toughest part is gonna be cable management and just screwing in all the fans probably, but yeah. Let's get that uh, AIO water cooler installed. Okay. So this is your uh, water cooler. This is the pump head and it runs into a radiator. If you see here, we went ahead and pre-installed our uh, light loop fans on the front just because you got the right. You don't want to see any of that. You don't you just didn't need to see that. Right. The actual pump head is a uh, will light up RGB. Okay, guys. So we put the fans and the radiator in placeholder for now. We need to um, install the pump head onto the processor. But the good thing about this is the, the Ryzen platform and this uh, Corsair pump is they just have these little um, hooks. Uh, you can see that. It goes around the process, the pre-installed bracket that comes with the processor. All you do is you put this on the loop like this, and then you just put the uh, the pump bracket for the AMD uh, pump on there. And we need the Corsair logo up, right? Because, you know, looks built. Right, the LED or the RGB. Uh-huh. So then we just put it over this. This is again, zero, zero force. Okay guys, so we're just putting the second one in. We kind of had to take a little pause there and have a little uh, team holding adventure. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes it does require a few hates. Just start it. Or more than a few hates. And then this is only gonna go till it stops. You don't need to go any farther than that. You don't really even need to use a screwdriver on this. Okay guys, so with a little team, team Eric and Keith here, we got this. Uh, all we gotta do is screw this down now. Again, like we said before, zero force. You just want to screw it till it's done tight. It's going to just stop when it gets to the end of the thread. Install. Three or four hours later. Three, we'll go, yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Yeah. But look, it's a computer. Woo I mean, to be honest, we took a little pause for lunch. That that counts. Counts. You have to have a lunch break. I mean, everyone needs a lunch break. Right, right. All right, well, let's get a little bit closer look at this thing. Okay, everybody. So as you see, we got our fans installed. We got three on the top. We got three on the side on the radiator. We got two on the bottom, but we got all of our front panel connectors installed, the USB, and then the audio for the front panel connectors installed. Graphics cards installed. We got our RAM installed. The main board is plugged in. Got our AAO. We got our uh, USB plugged in for our Corsair uh, pump. We got the supplemental CPU power plugged in. And our pump is plugged into the motherboard. If we go around back, this totally looks good, but we did and do a push-pull so that the front fans are pushing and these are pulling through the radiator. And so we actually went with 11 fans in this computer. We got all our cables behind here that you don't need to see. The uh, power supply is installed, which is pretty neat. It's on the side in the back. Our hard drives are behind this cage right here. We have our SSD and our M.2. And if you come around here, you can see the power. There's a back of the hard drives 
And then all the USB that I was talking about are back panel connectors in our uh, video card. So that's the, that's the insides of the computer. We're gonna put her back together here and fire her up. All right. Well, the computer's on, as you can see. Let's roll some B-roll real fast. Just so you can get a little bit closer look at the RGB on the inside. I hope you enjoyed that B-roll. That's some sexy oh, computer action over there. I like it, I like it a lot. It looks, looks really good, and I will say that that's probably the fastest Windows install I've ever seen happen. Yeah, it was probably 15 <laughs> to 20 minutes, easy. <laughs> like, just the file copies were like, shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> Both, so. It was impressive. Yeah, it turned out pretty good, I think, and uh, we did run into issues, but we did get through the issues. We, so. we worked through them, because Look, the computer's up and working. Anyway, we'll go ahead and, uh, we did this last time, but we'll link all the uh, stuff, like the components and things like that. We'll put it in the in the uh, description box down below. Yeah, the description box, like he said, the description box down below. All right, well, I had fun. Thank you for your assistance. Yeah. And, uh, can't wait to see what we do on our next tech link. It probably won't be this extreme. I mean, this is like a one-time, This is you probably know, a one -time extreme. extreme event. But, you know, whatever we decide for the next one, well, I mean, maybe you guys have suggestions of what you'd like to see. Yeah, let us know in the comments, whatever you uh, think, you know, techie-wise. We could do it in the next episode. I don't know how often this will come out. Maybe we'll do it like once or twice a month. We'll try and throw up a couple episodes of this, you know. Sure. And uh, I mean, but if you guys really like it, we might throw up some more episodes. Just, <laughs> just let us know in the comments down below. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace and love.